Hey guys, I'm Mashing. Welcome to The Little Soy Thing. Okay, so today I decided that I want to show you guys how to make my lasagna recipe. I only made it once before, so forgive me if I mess up a few times here. But uh, yeah, uh, let's get started. Okay, so we've actually got a good few ingredients in this recipe. So first what I have is white spelt flour, but you can use regular plain flour if you want. I have sunflower spread butter, but you can use soy butter if you want. I have red cheddar cheese, but you can use any vegan cheese that you like, again. Um, I also have salt, pepper, ground nutmeg, I have loose spinach, passata, uh, soy, soy milk, some brown rice pasta, um, you can, this is gluten free, but you can use any type of um, lasagna sheets you want. Um, I also have aubergine, carrots, potatoes, and some garlic. So yeah, let's get started. All right, so we're first gonna start with our vegetables and I'm beginning with the aubergine. So first just chop the top off and next we're going to slice it down into little uh, lines like this. So just slice a few of them about, you can do it about um, four of these long strips. And then slice them into little cubes. Do these with all of all of your pieces of aubergine. Next, I'm taking my carrot and I'm just going to peel it. You can use two carrots in this recipe if you want to have more vegetables, but I'm only using one carrot because I'm lazy and I don't want to do any more peeling. Next, I'm just chopping the top off and then I'm going to cut it into uh, roughly um, the same size cubes that I that I cut my aubergine up into. Break. And next I've peeled two potatoes. You don't have to peel yours if you don't want to, but I prefer mine peeled in this recipe. And pretty much the same thing as the aubergine. We're just cutting them up in little slices like these. And then we're cutting them up into smaller little cubes. So yeah, very simple. Alright, so now that all of our vegetables are chopped up, we can get started on our tomato filling. Alright, so making this filling is super easy. All you have to do is dump all of your chopped up vegetables into a large saucepan and drop in, uh, this says 680 grams of passata, but just a bottle around this size, just dump it in there. I then filled the bottle up again halfway with water and switched it around so to get all the extra tomato juice off it. Just a way to save ingredients and for easier cleanup later. Alright, so now we're just going to bring it to a boil and then we're going to cover it and turn down the heat to allow it to simmer for 25 minutes. Alright, so while our pat our tomato filling is uh, simmering. I turned on the oven to 180 degrees and now I'm going to get started on our white sauce. So this part of the recipe is really easy to All you have to do is preheat a pan you know, yeah. and just put in a big dollop of the sunflower uh, spread. You can put in this is probably around the size of two tablespoons worth. Now we just need to wait until this melts fully. Alright, so now that our flat is melted, I'm going to add two tablespoons of the flour into it. Mm -hmm. And then quickly we need to whisk it so, until it gets really, really smooth. Alright, so I had the heat on too high, so I just turn it down now. So this is what you're looking for, for the flour and the butter to be really soft and creamy, mixed in well to each other. And now next, the biggest, most important part of the sauce, we're adding in our soy milk. So all you need is two cups worth of soy milk into it. And 
too. All right, so now I'm gonna add some salt, add some pepper to taste, along with some ground nutmeg. Okay, so now we're just gonna mix it up until it's thickened up a bit. You, this will probably take about 10 to 15 minutes. All right, so I've had it on for 20 minutes now, and it's still not quite as thick as I wanted it to be, but I think that's because I put in a bit more soy milk than I should have. But it's okay, I can still use it. <laughs> and if you want yours to be a lot thicker than this, then like I usually have mine, then just it would be about 500 milliliters worth of soy milk instead of the two huge fungus mugs I just plumped into mine. <laughs> All right, so now that our white sauce is done, I just put it to the side, and now we're gonna um, pay our attention back to our filling that has been sitting for the last 25 minutes. I really should have stirred it during those 25 minutes because it's kind of sticking to the bottom now, but it's okay, it's nothing to worry about. Uh, so all that I'm gonna do right now is add some more salt and pepper. I'm gonna throw in a good amount of the lettuce that I had. And finally we're adding in three to four cloves of crushed garlic depending on how strong yours you want yours to taste. Now just mix that around and we're going to leave it on a very low heat for another five minutes just so the garlic and everything can settle into it without burning. Alright, so now on to my favorite part because it's the easiest part besides eating. Um, we're just assembling our lasagna together. So first we're just going to take one third of the tomato sauce that we made and we're putting that on the bottom of our lasagna pan. Spread out as much as you can. This is just so it's it won't really stick to the bottom so much. It'll be a lot easier to cut and pick up and divide and stuff. All right, next I'm gonna put a little bit of our white sauce on top of that. Ooh, that's a lot. Okay. <laughs> All right, and next we're just gonna put on our lasagna sheets. As so. This isn't the prettiest part of the lasagna, but trust me, it looks a lot more appetizing as we go along. Feel free to break up your lasagna sheets to fit your pan if you need to. Okay, so next I'm gonna put on half of our remaining tomato mix. Alright, next, same thing, we're just putting on some of our white sauce on top. And on top of that, I'm putting on some of the vegan cheese I had. I just grated it. I nearly forgot we're going to put on our other lasagna sheets. And we're putting on the remaining of our tomato filling. This probably isn't the best angle. Oh well, you get the idea. Spread it out as evenly as possible. And just pour all of the white sauce on top. Anything that's left. Don't want anything to go to waste. And finally, top it off with the remaining of the vegan cheese.
All right, so I've had my oven preheating at 180 degrees, and so I'm gonna pop this in for an hour. Usually I only put it in for a half an hour, but since the white sauce turned out to be really, really um, liquidy, I'm, I decided to put it in longer just so it, um, maybe some of it can evaporate and it can be a lot more creamy. All right, so here it is. Mine actually only took 50 minutes for all the white sauce to evaporate. Well, evaporate to the consistency that I wanted it to. But like I said before, if you make your white sauce the proper way instead of the way I made mine where I put too much soy milk in it, then yours should only take 30 minutes for it to cook. Okay, so this looks really good. I'm just gonna drop it now. I'm actually, yeah, I think I'm gonna leave it for 15 minutes before taking it out just because I think it'll hold better then. <laughs> all right, so here it is, all finished. It's really delicious. Um, I'm really happy with this recipe because, as you guys know, my, my channel mostly revolves around um, desserts and cakes and all sweet stuff like that. And I very rarely have a dinner recipe up, but this is finally one that I have, and it's a dinner that I love having because I love lasagna before I went, <clears throat> before I went vegan, sorry. and. I wasn't really able to have it much unless I bought it in some health shop out of Offaly because the health shops here don't really stop those type of things. But uh, yeah, so I'm really happy with this because now I can have it whenever I want. Right, so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to comment and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys again in the next video. Bye.